Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mizi69, and I am bringing you a very exciting video. This is the Mad Games, uh, the Mad Games event, and we're going to start off with the two new tanks. This is the Grave Digger, a tier eight, uh, tier, tier seven, sorry, heavy tank. Now, stat wise, the DPM on this is 2319. It has AP and APCR, and it does 90 damage per shot. It is an auto loader, so the burst damage can do a maximum of 540. Um, caliber is a 57 millimeter with a rate of fire 25.77, and magazine reload time is 10.64. So, and it has six shells in. In the magazine and the reload time for each shell is 0 0.67 um so 90 damage per shot for six shots mm, not so bad uh dispersion 0 0.319 gun depression is only five degrees so not great uh gun depression uh, speed 36 so again not that great but it's it's okay so we're going to look at the armor. The armor is, is very troll. And you can see here, 82 mil, but effective armor on the front uh, sloped can reach 426 mil at, at an angle. Um, 179 there. The top of the turret, you've got 213, but it's supposed to be 72, but effectively, it's that bit there is right above the gun is 210 because it's sloped. So you're going to get that good army. You can see 208, and if you go down, it gets uh, even more. But then you go up, it, it's only 77. That's because that's looking at tanks sort of looking down. Um, so 285, where are we looking? So that's on the turret. You've got the, uh, the hatch at top, 76, which is quite poor. And again, we're just looking at the top of the turret here, and... Now we're looking at the hull, 340 watt. This is the sides. The, this is spaced armor, so the purple is all spaced armor. Um, 184 mil there. I think that's by the turret, uh, by the gun. So not a bad looking tank. Uh, and it be, get some bounces. It's going to get a lot of bounces because the armor is really really troll now this is the next tank it is the scavenger and it's a medium tier five looks quite nice um looks quite fun hp 700 dpm is 1429 penetration is 90 uh damage is 250 per shot um it's a 94 caliber gun Rate of fire 5.68 with a reload time of 10.56. Now with this, it's actually got two guns. Two guns, which is very unique for a premium tank. So the second gun is lowers the DPM, but the penetration is 110 and the damage is 160. So better penetration, less B, uh, DPM, less damage. Um, but actually it's got better... Uh, gun depression uh, and a few things are better so either gun really for tier 5 either gun is okay to use so as I've said DPM 1421 on on that gun uh, full bit bit a uh, bit less than the first gun so either gun really it doesn't really matter what gun you can either have the higher damage with less pen or Less damage with higher pen, not a problem. So the second gun we're going to look at, uh, aim time 2.18, uh, dispersion 0 0.435, and it has six degrees of gun depression. But if you use, we go back to the other gun, which is the first gun, this one has eight degrees of gun depression. So, which isn't bad at all. Isn't bad at all. So eight degrees of gun depression, 12 degrees of uh, gun elevation. Mobility is 50 kilometers per hour, which is nothing really to write, nothing really to write home about, but it's a medium, 
not too bad. So now let's look at the armor. The armor, again, it could be quite troll. So you can see the, the front hole is orange there, and that's only 76 mil. And that's looking it straight on. So the turret is effective 102, 110, around uh, 240 there. So again, it depends where you're looking, how you're angled, right at the top of the tank there, 50, 57 mil. And again, looking at the turret from that angle, 99. Uh, the hull, 76 turret again, 90. So it depends how you look at it. So again, hold down in this thing, you can get some pounces as long as you don't show your rear because the rear 26, uh, some of it gets to. Um, and that's them two new tanks for now. Uh, this will be the, the garage for the event. It's the new map. You can see the grave digger next to me on the right. You can see the scavenger on the left. Um, not a bad looking map. Quite a nice map, especially as it will be your the garage for the time being for the event. Um, you can see the big screen on the front there, which says Mad Games. So now we're going to actually look at the event itself. And we're just going to take a look for now at the perks that you get for the event. So each tank is different. Some tanks will be the same, uh, but it's just pretty much random. So this we're looking at the ISU 130. And if you go here, you can see the modifications. So it's got armor regener regenerator as one of them which re restores your vehicle's HP when you cause damage to an enemy vehicle. Also restores allied vehicle HP when you fire at it with armored piercing. High explosive shell or ram it. 35% to your vehicle's HP of the total damage cause. 50% to allied vehicle's HP of average damage from a shell or potential damage by ramming. And that is automatic. Uh, it's activated automatically. So it's permanently effective throughout the battle uh, so you don't have to do anything with these but the next one which is the high octane fuel which is increases increases vehicle dynamics increases engine power by 10 times increases top speed by three times increases track durability by 15 times uh, when the modification expires the engine and tracks receive a non-critical damage and that lasts 10 seconds at a time and the cooldown is 30 seconds so that is a consumable. So we're going to quickly show you here. And this one, this perk actually isn't so great. And you can see the consumables to the right, right at the bottom below the speed boost. We're going to give it a press any second now. And there we go. The speed automatically goes up. And look at the track traverse. It's just going absolute everywhere. It only lasts for 10 seconds. So as soon as that runs out, there we go. Track and your engine is damaged. So... This one will be a very annoying if you have this perk. You don't want to be track, uh, get tracked or your engine damage every time you use this perk. So this perk I, I don't really see being any good or any use, for instance. It's just only for when you traverse. So we're going to sit here and we're going to wait for it. Here we go. We're going to use it again. Let's see how fast we, we traverse. We do traverse pretty quickly, but that is about it. And again, as soon as it look, it's it's insane. And then you have your engine and your track damage. Uh, so this one in particular isn't so great. You're not going to get much use out of this perk. Um, but let's go on to the next perk. And this we're going to look at the Chieftain. And it has the armor regenerator, which is the same. And this one has the half-life discharge. So it increases damage caused to enemy vehicles, but decreases your vehicle's HP. 50% to all types of damage. 25% from your vehicle's maximum HP. Cannot be used if the vehicle has left fewer HP than necessary. So that's duration that lasts 20 seconds. And it's a 30-second cooldown. I can't test this out because I'm actually playing on my own. So when you use this... It's fifty percent more damage, but you get less HP if, when you use it. So your HP will drop, but your damage every shot will uh, go up fifty percent, which, which is crazy, which is crazy. So I can't really test this one out because I said, um, on the test server on my own. So it's 
pretty hard to t test out. But so, as I've said, 50%. So if you do 400, you're going to do 600, for instance. Damage every shot. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Uh, but you do lose 25% of your your uh, maximum HP. So every time that's activated, as I've said, your damage will increase, but your HP will go down. So again, not not a bad perk, really. Uh, next up, we have the WZ111, and this is probably one of the best perks. It is the Charmeleon Concealment. So vehicle becomes invisible to the enemy in battle and on the minimap and moves with an increased speed. Increases engine power by five times and increases the top speed by two times. The modification expires earlier upon firing, ramming an enemy vehicle or receiving damage. So if you use this perk and you shoot, it cancels it. Or if you get shot, if you get rammed, it cancels it. Uh, it only lasts for 10 seconds at a time, but it does cool down every 26 seconds. Now, this is probably my favorite perk. Um, it's pretty, it is pretty fun. Uh, now, I was one in versus one in someone on the test server the other day, and we was actually in, we was in hysterics. It is so fun. So the battle co coordinator on this one, which is the automatic one, increases the gun load and an aiming speed as well as view range. If there are surviving allies with, within range, uh, maximum bonus is given for three surviving allies. For each surviving ally, it's 25%, uh, blah, 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 blah. So that one is automatic. If you want to pause it and read it through, no problem. But we're going to now test this perk out. Um, so the WZ111, again, a few tanks will have this. So... I've, edit, I've cropped it so you can't really see, but again, it's the consumable. Uh, we're going to press it, and there we go. We are now invisible. We've got double or triple the speed that we are going. No one can see me at all unless you fire. And there we go. We are not now invisible. So it doesn't last for very long, 10 seconds. I, I, it could do with lasting a bit longer, to be, to, to be honest. It can maybe 15 seconds. 15 seconds, but it's only got a 26 second cooldown. So that's not so bad either. So we're going to wait for it to regenerate. And then we're going to push it again as soon as it regenerates. Here we go. We're going to push it. There we go. But then we're going to shoot. Are we going to shoot? There we go. So as, as we shoot, it becomes deactivated. So I just wouldn't shoot. There's no point shooting. It's only 10 seconds. So once you use this uh, perk, just try and not shoot and pretty much use it just to get away from the enemy. Um, that is the best way, but it's all a bit of fun. This event is just all a bit of fun. So next up is the, we're going to use the WZ120. Now this perk, I'm not really, it, it has the battle co coordinate, uh, coordinate, coordinator, the same as the WZ. Um, but the other perk, which is the one you activate yourself, this one is kind of meh because it is the accelerator. So it's a 50, uh, 50 meter leap forward or backwards. And it only takes one second. And the cooldown cool time is 26 seconds. Uh, and I don't know what the use is for this, to be honest. Maybe ramming or I, I really... I really don't know, but we're going to show you anyway. And every time we start a battle, we're actually joining a battle. Uh, but because I'm the only person in the queue, it puts me in a battle by myself. So every time I play one of these, I have to actually cap all the bases to, to win, or it will just be a draw. So there we go. We're going to use it, and that's it. Done. <laughs> so I don't see what use this perk is. Uh... 50 meter leap forward i don't i don't see what what it actually what you can use it for and, and unless there's a tank like directly in front of you and you use it just to just to give it a little ram i really don't know but again you can use it to go in backwards as well not just going forward <laughs> that's it that is it but again we, i'm not going to complain it it is a bit of fun um and I don't believe, because it's a separate uh, mode, 
the games is a separate mode. I don't actually think these go on to your stats. I think it's completely separate, just like the duck event that we had. Just a bit of fun, completely separate. And there we go, we're going to use it again just to get to this cap a little bit quicker. But yeah, another another perk that isn't so great. So now we've got the uh, the rev again. Accelerator has the 50, mil, uh, 50 meter leap forward. Has the same as so a few tanks are going to have the same, obviously. And it has the uh, where is it? Once your vehicle is spotted, the light bulb appears immediately. If your vehicle is beyond the range, which it cannot be spotted, it immediately becomes invisible to the team and disappears from the mini map. And that's activated automatically. It's one of the, so you get two perks for every every tank um, again can't really show you this one no point it's the 50 meter uh, leap forward already showing you it uh, so you don't really need to see it again cool down cool down time for that is 30 seconds so moving on fcm again uses the same as the rev uh, nothing special nothing special and that is pretty much it we've seen this one we're going to use the amx we've already seen it Invisible for 10 seconds. Now, people have actually got confused because of the promo video. People thought it was... Uh, what did they think it was? They thought it was uh, teleporting. But it's not. It's the invisible mode. So, as you can see just there, it's a separate... You could probably see it in your garage now. You won't be able to join it. Um, you go here, Mad Games, a special type of during the mad games in a game event only tier 5 to 10 vehicles qualify um battles are fought in supremacy mode on three maps only which is wasteland which is the new map for this event desert sands and oasis palm uh, mad games battles can be disabled at night or in the evening depending on your region again probably depending on the amount of players um, modifications Mad Games Battles features 10 modifications that improve vehicle character characteristics or repair damage. Depending on its types and role in the battle, each vehicle will have two modifications installed before battle. Uh, irradiator, Charmeleon Concealment, Half-Life Discharge, High Octane Fuel and Accelerator are used multiple times and it are activated automatically as consumables. Armor Regenerator, Rammer Rig, which we haven't seen uh, battle coordinator, saber tour system, and uranium shield are activated automatically as provisions. Now that uranium sh shield, I think that's actually really good. The armor, I think, becomes really, really good. I'm not actually too, too sure, but you can see it here. Like I said, it's three different. So if you don't want to play the event, you don't have to. People are saying this event sucks. This is this is going to suck. The tanks are too OP, but it's not the new tanks that have the power. It's all the tanks, and it is only in the Mad Games event. So if you don't like the event, if you don't want to participate, you don't have to. So people just need to get a grip, have a bit of fun. That is all this event is, just a bit of fun. That is all it is. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much all the modifications that I'm going to show you for now. But as I said, I've played this one versus one with another friend and it was just hilarious. And we had so much fun. Just, just That was just one versus one. So when it comes live and it's seven versus seven, that is just going to be absolutely crazy. Seven tanks running around, all high speed, all invisible, or it's just going to be insane. And it will be a barrel of laughs. So let's look at how you can obtain the tanks and when the event starts itself. So the scavenger. The scavenger is the tier 5. Now all you have to do is win 50 battles. That is all you have to do. Doesn't matter what. You could do it in the Mad Games event or the just the normal one. Just 50 battles. That is all you have to do. So all you've got to do is enter the game from October 17th through to November the 7th. Win victory battle, uh, 50 victory back battles in regular battles or the mad games within 10 days. Then click win it and the garage 
in the garage and the scavenger is yours. Now, upon entering uh, from 17th of October uh, through to November the 7th, the first time, that is when your countdown will start. Um, so after that 10 days, the second stage will last for three days, and that is where you can pay for gold. Now, it does start on October the 17th at 8 a.m. S-C-E-S-T uh, until 7th, uh, 7th of November at 7, 7 a.m. So that is the scavenger. Now, let's look at... Where are we here? So this is the actual, the second event itself. So you've got two separate paths. So you've got the top one, which you can win the Tankenstein. And you've got the bottom where you can win the Grave Digger. Now, me personally, the Tankenstein's a, not a bad tank. It's not a bad tank, but I'm going to go for the Grave Digger. As it's something new, um, why not? And this starts exactly the same time, uh, October 17th through uh, October the 25th. And you get 10, 10 days. And exactly the same exactly the same start time as the scavenger. Now, for these missions, you've got two separate things. You have biogas, uh, which you can earn 50 to 100 cans of biogas, depending on your vehicle's tier. So you get 10 times the vehicle tier. So if you play tier five, you're gonna get 50. Um, if you can play tier 10, you're gonna get 100 per, per battle. Um, and for that, you need at least 300 XP in that battle. So if you get over 300 XP, you could win 10 times. And there we go. By the way, don't expect to sit on Sarzan, blah, blah, blah. You can get biogas only if you earn at least 300 base XP. Now, that's pretty easy, to be fair. You can get 300 XP by doing zero damage. Now, the next thing is the cookies. So the cookies you will find in your daily uh, containers, your common containers. Um, let's have a look. You can find these across packaging common containers. And on average, you can find 667 cookies in each container. You might get more or you might get less. It's as simple as that. So what I suggest, so this starts on the 17th. So the 16th, which is today, don't open your containers. Leave them just before the event starts. Now you can see this grave digger, it's not yellow because it is down as a collectible tank, which means you can sell it for gold. If you win it, you can sell it for gold uh, and it can be nerfed, buffed, etc. But that is about it, guys. I hope you really enjoy this Mad Event Games. It's gonna be epic. But for now, I'll catch you all soon.